Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to share folders between your Windows computers. So if you're coming across this issue and you're having issues with rights that it's asking you to enter in a network password, and you're coming across this authentication error, so this is where you should hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the Start Menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. And into Start Menu Search, you want to go ahead and type in RegEdit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. And then you want to go ahead and left click on Run as Administrator on that selection. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, you want to go ahead and just left click on Yes here. Now into this registry editor, I would highly suggest you create a backup before proceeding. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do it, this should be pretty straightforward. And all you have to do is just left click on the file tab over the top left, left click on export, save it to a convenient location on your computer, and then just left click on save, make sure export range is selected to all. And the file name, I would suggest naming it something conventional, like the date in which you're making the backup is probably a smart choice. And then if you ever had to import it back in, you just would do File, Import, and then just navigate over to the registry entry, and that's pretty much it. That's how you restore your registry back. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and expand the HKEY Local Machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the dropdown. Do the same thing for the System folder. Same thing now for Current Control Set. Now you want to expand Control. Go down to LSA and just left click on that folder one time. Please know you can see the path that we're following up at the top of the registry editor screen here so you can easily follow along, pause the video if you need to. And on the right side you want to look for something that says LM compatibility level. If you do not see one in here, like in my case I do not see one, I'm going to go ahead and create this D word value. So all you have to do is just right click in a blank area on the right side, left click on new, and then left click on where it says D word 32 bit value. So I'm going to have this probably on the screen of this video as well as in the description of my video. So just type in LM compatibility level exactly as it appears on my screen and in the description. Take note that the L in LM, the C in compatibility, and the L in level are all capitalized and there are no spaces at all in here. So as it appears exactly on my screen click out of it just in order to save the name. Once you've done that you want to go ahead and double click on it. So if it's already in here just want to double click on it and you can just skip that part about actually creating it. And you want to set value data to 1. So if there's a 0 in here, delete it. Type the number 1. Don't spell out 1, just type the number 1 and then left click on OK. Once that is done you should be able to close out of the registry editor, restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.